Aquarius, 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 what is popping? What's going down in the life of an Aquarius? What's up, baby? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. How you doing? How you doing? If this is your first time doing, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Uh, to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family, baby. Okay, we cry because we enlighten, we uplift, okay? We grow, we evolve. That is the main reason for the season here in the family, okay? Um, y'all, thank you for all of the likes, the shares, the comments. Y'all, I literally, mid-month July has been quite, it was quite the time emotionally. This retrograde has purged the hell out of me. And with this, uh, with these moons in Aquarius and Mars, our planet Aries, planet in Aquarius, you got Aries in your chart. It's been an interesting time for you, okay? Emotionally, and just keep pushing, baby. Keep pushing. Just know that the universe is working for you, not against you. It's all for your greater good, all right? So we ain't gonna we ain't gonna do no long intro. This is for the sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus and cross watchers of Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius between the first and the fifteenth of August, two thousand eighteen. This is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal, I got something special for y'all for the next 48 hours. The kid will be doing $40 only for 30-minute readings, okay? Um, also, um, if you're getting a 45-minute or an hour reading, I'm taking $10 off of those. It don't matter if they're the same day or not. I'm just, that's we rocking, okay, for the next 48 to 72 hours. I may extend it to 72, but for sure 48, I'm not booked 100%, so get it in. I'm working from 8 a.m. to 12 a.m., okay? So, uh, hey, we go get it and we come back with it, okay? I don't got to explain that to Aquarius because y'all professionals at that, all right? So let's get it, Aquarius. Um, The message that I have for you, the first message that I'm going to read to you is the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, I got for you guys Watermelon Tourmaline. This is a beautiful card. I try to focus on it, but my camera is shot to shit sometimes, so y'all excuse me. I'm I, I'm yet trying to afford me a damn, I need some more cards, I need a damn new camera, I need a few things, okay? Uh, first Mocha is going to try to get my finances together for everything in my life, and then we can get it together, okay? We can rock with some new equipment, but... For the watermelon tourmaline, I have stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive Aquarius, okay? With this card, I have the spiritual, I'm sorry, the spiritual. It's retrograde on my ass. This card appears whenever there is a need to de-stress your mind, body, schedule, and so forth. You already know which life areas are triggered, are triggering your elevated stress levels. God and your guardian angels are empowering you to reduce them by taking charge of your schedule and surroundings. You are encouraged to introduce stress management practices into your daily life, such as prayer and meditation, gentle exercise, time spent in nature, fun hobbies, massages, naps, and chemical-free diets. This is also a message about simplifying your life. Look for tasks that you can release or ways to clear clutter from your schedule. When there is too much when there is too much vying for your attention, you will free fragment it. Hold up. Let me read that again. Y'all need glasses, okay? And it's Mercury retrograde is on my eyes, okay? When there is too much vying for your attention, you will feel fragmented. There it is. It's possible to get addictively hooked on a on drama under the mistaken belief that it is exciting. However, it's much more pleasurable to have a peaceful excitement moment in which you create the soothing and harmonious life that you desire and deserve. Aquarius, drop them burdens, put them fucks down. What is you doing? Okay. I feel like as it pertains to love, a lot of y'all is putting on a poker face when it comes to love. It will be put on a poker face between the 1st and the 15th. Okay. But some of y'all, while you focusing on winning, okay, and the goals and the glamour and all the, the power at be. Look what you're doing to those, to someone who loves you in the background. Okay? Or this could be how they're doing you, Aquarius. Okay? But you're making somebody feel rejected. You're making somebody who wants to nurture you. Okay? Feel like you don't give a damn about them. You just want the, the money, power, and, you know, and I feel like if that's where your focus is, you need to bring that back home, bring that back in and hone it. And see how you can 
best declutter your life, best compromise for everyone in your surrounding that you love. Okay. I'm also seeing with this nine of fire, some of y'all solar plexus is popping. Okay. And what you don't know is that your third eye will be opening. For a lot of y'all, y'all third eye will be opening between the 1st and the 15th of August during this retrograde. And it's bringing, it's opening. Okay. The portion of you, Aquarius, is working at the portion of you that wants to love. Okay. What do you want to nurture? All right. What is it that you want to nurture? What is, what is it that you want to see grow, come to fruition? What is it that you have in your heart? You have to be real with yourself right now, okay? Because some of y'all, you're going to choose yourself during this time, all right? Self-love, self-care, self-management, balancing of the self, loving on, falling in love, madly in love with the self. In order to move forward in love to drop that poker face. You have choices to make Aquarius. For some of y'all you can choose. To stay in this little sad door. Resentment the past and the things that you couldn't quite. Because you're having to start over. You're having all three choices. Including you starting over. Okay, But one of them is a, it, one of them is, is going to take you. And lead you, do, lead you down a path. Okay. Of blind faith. It requires blind faith. But your intuition is popping. Down this path. Only thing you see is sorrow from your past. If you want to go in this door, this is the door of the uh, of the heartbreak hotel. You understand? This door, however, has the apple bite. I immediately think teacher's pet, the teacher. This door is a new path, and the path is very narrow. Everybody can't go with your ass, okay? And you see you're leaving the snakes on this side of the door. You understand? On your journey, everybody cannot go, all right? I do see that Aquarius, during this time, you're not communicating things that intuitively you already know i see a lot of y'all could be focused on the coin but in order to get to the coin and get to the grounding of the coin to get to the grounding that you need to get the coin baby you got it you don't walk through this dough come out that dough shed it and boil that motherfucker up that's not for you between the first and the 15th i feel like a lot of y'all who are trying to move towards an air sign you needing to you, you, you it's causing you to have blind faith and you want to be, you're fixed, you're fixed energy. So you like, hell no, I can't fix any damn thing. That's good. I don't, I don't know how much power I'm going to have. So you need to make a choice on this door. You see, ain't no damn face. Ain't no face. Ain't no face on this door. It's an apple at this door. The door of fruition is what I'm going to call it. The door of abundance. Okay. You have to make a choice. But you're going to start over and a lot of y'all going to choose the self. Some of y'all. Between the 1st and the 15th uh, of August, we'll be receiving good karma. But the seeds that you have planted in the past season, I think that your seeds have gone unnoticed. Please do not think that your seeds <laughs> have gone unrecognized, okay? Maybe you were trying to get them recognized by people who weren't even meant to be in your life in the first place. All right? All right. Some of y'all... Some of y'all could actually have a Libra coming in to communicate something with you. This Libra could want to communicate that they want to move forward. They want to actually, this Libra could also communicate something about a three-party situation that's been burdening the hell out of you or information about it that's going to make you, get you to the point where you're ready to drop them burdens, okay? Some of y'all have been patient in the situation. Aquarius, y'all could definitely be dealing with a Pisces. This person has come to balance, help you balance your life out. This person has come to balance, help you balance the scales. This person could also be a Sagittarius as well. But there is some type of karmic justice going between um, Aquarius and the sign of Libra, Pisces, and Sagittarius. I do see for some of y'all, y'all could be communicating with someone that you want marriage or someone could be communicating marriage with you and it's causing you to make a judgment call, okay? I feel like some of y'all are burdened by a three-party situation, possibly including the fire sign or Aries to be exact, okay? I do see that there are secrets that are going to be revealed. You could also have a Pisces, um, a Pisces in your life that is revealing secrets to you about an Aries. And for some of y'all, you could also have, you could be juggling the air sign as well, okay? Some of y'all, there's definitely three-party energy that y'all going to be making judgment calls on uh, between the 1st and the 15th. And I feel like if this energy is external to you, Aquarius, some of y'all are going to drop them damn burdens, okay? But some of y'all, y'all have been going through the justice system, okay? And this is starting to really, really burden you. But the divine is calling you to have patience, okay? Because the outcome that you want 
is going to be the actual outcome that comes through. That uh, that outcome will be given to you or rendered by the 1st to the 15th of August, okay? And it's going to go in your favor. You're going to get your wish. Aquarius, whatever it is, whatever communication that you're waiting on, it, it could be something involving your passion, something that you're passionate about, okay? It could be having to do um, with the fire sign. You are going to get your wish. For some of y'all, you are wanting to, um, you're waiting on a cancer to come in and offer their love to you, okay? And for some of y'all between the 1st and the 15th, you are going to get your wish with that. Some of y'all have that cancer, that cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on the cancer, though. They want to move forward with you. They want to love you. They actually want to go to a higher level of commitment with you. And you're going to be making a judgment call like, hold up, wait a minute. Is this what I want? All right. This person wants to love you. They want to nurture you. Some of y'all will be celebrating new children. Congratulations. Okay. This could also be by a water sign. Some of y'all are making a judgment call about being passionate or looking back, looking, looking passionately back at the past and make a judgment call regarding a Sagittarius. Okay. Whoa. Some of y'all are trying to turn a situation around with the fire sign, possibly, or with someone who put it put you in a three party situation. You have you have all the resources that you need. You have the knowledge. You have the the ability to communicate. You have the love. You have the resources. You have the passion. Aquarius, why is there this little stagnant feeling that I'm feeling? Why are you having to make a judgment call on love? Because somebody who possibly okay, now I see why. Somebody who put you in a three party situation between the first and the fifteenth of August. This person is going to come and make you a solid proposition okay and it's going to be something very tangible that you can't refuse someone wants to move forward with you and they willing to put in the money the time the love whatever it is you possibly want to turn around a situation with an aries okay for some of y'all y'all will be giving and start offering a new start or receiving a move forward with something that you're passionate about possibly with an aries you do have a pisces that you're being defensive with during this time and you will be being defensive during this time some of y'all are definitely juggling an air sign I'm sorry, an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, and a water sign. Or this could be external to you. You're going to be finding out about that. So them secrets is going to hit the fan. Or they probably already have during this Aquarius full moon. But during the month of uh, August the 1st to the 15th, do not take information. Don't take the things that you receive and the messages that you receive from people right now, especially during this retrograde energy for the emotion. Take it for the information in order for you to move forward and make the best decision for everybody involved, okay? Y'all definitely got an Aries from the past that you're being patient with, okay? I feel like you're burdened by this person or maybe you feel like this person is carrying a lot of burdens. And for you, you got y'all could also be going to a uh, court with an Aries. Some of y'all could be going through the legal system. This could be child support. This could be... um marriage this could be divorces but whatever it is that you're going to court for baby is in your favor somebody is definitely going to be left behind some of y'all are leaving an uh, earth sign capricorn towards virgo behind and starting something new with a water sign some of you oh, oh cancer pisces scorpio strong emphasis on the uh the cancer and the pisces they in the building the show they face some of y'all are going to choose to remain alone and just focus on your money okay and you're looking real good sweetheart yes ma'am but that's in order to do so in order to do so, you're going to have to stop juggling, make the decision to know you're going to have to leave some people, places, things in the cold, okay? If it, if you can't grow, why let them go? Period. All right? Some of y'all are definitely going to be moving forward with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In the past, this person could have put you in a three-party situation with an Aries or with an Earth sign, with a Sag. This person, you had a three-party situation going on with somebody who's offering you something between the 1st and the 15th. And some of y'all making a judgment call on if you even want to take it. But some of y'all is definitely a Leo. OK, uh, for some of y'all is also, again, a Sagittarius. But this person is offering you something new and you looking at it like, no, you the damn devil. OK, yeah, this this Ace of Cups, this is beautiful. OK, I, I don't. But what you don't know is everybody changes, Aquarius. Every, anybody can change. Hell, you ain't the same person you was two weeks ago. This retrograde and purge that. OK, but some of y'all, some of y'all got a Capricorn that wants you to be everything. They look at you as their queen. They look at you as the queen of pentacles. They look at you as someone who they can nurture with, who they can see their fruits grow with. OK. Who they can, who they want to crown you, but you looking at this person like, hell no, okay? But what you don't know is that the tower is going to fall and you are going to be taking somebody's offer because one of these people is a twin flame soulmate to you. I feel a strong emphasis, um, on that cancer, that Pisces, uh, taking that baby. I'll be, I'll be out in a second. That cancer or that Pisces or this fire sign, but you know, one of these people is a, for some of y'all, y'all going to be dealing with, 
a soulmate and a twin flame and you're needing to make a decision because you can't juggle them both all right to be honest with you if you've been waiting on your waiting on karma to put to, to to make her move in your favor baby she is there you go mother karma finna make her move in your favor for some of y'all that can involve an area but if it's involving the legal system you finna walk out scot-free Moving away from your past altogether, starting something new, strong emphasis on the water sign and the fire sign. And this is what I have for you between the 1st and the 15th of August, Aquarius. I love you very, very much. Long, long time, baby. And if you need that personal, hit me up. Holla at the kid, okay? <laughs> Until mid-August, baby.